The United Nations report reveals that more than 40% of the 200 million Nigerian population is uh, lacking access to electricity supply. Now, some experts blame the Nigerian government for the adequate power supply, which according to the World Bank is making companies lose billions of dollars in revenue on a yearly basis. Now, authorities of the West African nation have, however, vowed to remedy the electricity of course, the electricity crisis, but others believe more needed to be done. You know, let's have more details of that in this report. David Francis is a farmer who lives with his family in Dong, a community on the outskirts of Jos. There is no electricity here, which he says is challenging. As little as charging our phones, we have to send someone to Jos town. And it's done for a fee, just because we don't have a connection to electricity. David is just one of many Nigerians without electricity. The Association of Nigerian Electricity Distributors says the country only generates about 4,000 megawatts of electricity on most days. This, it says, is less than a third of what is required to provide for more than 200 million citizens and their businesses. The World Bank says companies lose $29 billion a year as a result of unreliable electricity. Economic analysts attribute it to the government's neglect of the power sector. The fact that we have uh, plants not being properly maintained and budgets not being used as allotted for these sectors makes it increasingly difficult for us to be able to uh, have this constant power supply we actually require. Experts say more needs to be done to improve generation and distribution of electricity in the country with alternative sources such as solar and nuclear. If we can deal with corruption, we can be able to do with all of this other because it's even good to have alternatives. When one is shutting down, the other one is working. Nigeria should be producing over 10,000 megawatts of electricity. The government says it's doing all it can. It says it has upgraded two generating plants as part of efforts to improve power supply in the country. The government also says it now has projects in renewable energy to provide several megawatts of solar and hydroelectricity. These projects, the government says, are over 90% complete with World Bank support of $500 million. It's hoped these efforts, if successfully completed, will supercharge the Nigerian economy.